Mana Wahine is about empowering Wahine to empower other Wahine. I decided to take that step um, to better myself, not only for myself but for my son as well. For me, because I lack family and support, it's brought me a support of um, sisterhood. So when I walked in here, I, I, I walked in here um, depressed, um, anxiety, um, feeling really low within myself. Um, yeah, um, but this course, Manawahiri means um, it gave me back my confidence, um, strength, um, and to find who I really am. About five, five and a half years ago, I was actually in a violent um, relationship. I had. I, I had 20 years of abuse um, through two partners and I actually fled to Te Waipaunamu, to Whakatū Nelson and um, began to start a new life. So when I got here I didn't know anyone, I had um, no whānau here um, and I had to rebuild my life um, from scratch. Um, I was free from the, from the crisis of it all but then I was just left with this big mess to clean up and the mess was me. I've been to prison about four times. Um, I used to do drugs and everything like that. And um, I think I did that because I didn't know who I was. I was um, trying to be somebody that I wasn't. Um, so what inspires me to help um, other wahine is because I actually had a lady that um, got alongside me and walked the journey with me. Adele was um, uh, very broken, she was very fearful and um, she was very alone. I met uh, Eugenie, um, she, she, there was no judgement, she listened. Uh, she had a journey of healing and a process that needed to happen. Um, and she was, she was like my rock and my support. I don't think I could have um, done it um, without her. She, I had no whānau here, um, I didn't know anyone and it's really hard when you don't um, have any whānau to, to support you no matter where you are. Today, that's a, uh, the opposite story to what she was. Uh, she's a woman that stands in her own right. Uh, she has got strong leadership characteristics. She's, she's, a, um, she's retrained and learned how to do um, so many things that she never ever had any idea that was possible five years ago. So today she has written the programme for Manawahine. I think the difference is we build whānau, we build relationships and I think um, actually that's the biggest key to anyone's healing is relationship. I'm actually there all the time, any hour, if someone needs me to be, because healing's hard. You feel it's, it's such a lonely journey, but having somebody there to know that somebody's just there, they've got you, they've got your back. Probably I would say that Manawahine is to mentor, to encourage, to uh, really activate the best part of the wahine. Oh, I'm gonna take so much away from here. Um, I've just become a brighter, stronger, better mum than I was before. Uh, my family's here, but she's my main support. Yeah, she's my go-to person. Um, yeah, I love Adele, she's awesome. They weren't even thinking like that when they first come in, you know, but that's part of them stepping into their mana and their identity because until we know who we are, we don't know where we're going. So the highlight for me is seeing them with their heads held high, um, seeing them smile, just see them walking in their mana, walking as mana wahine, just like owning who they are.